Welcome back everybody. I'm obviously not Scott. I'm Scott's daughter Brittany and I'm doing a channel takeover. He is in Siesta Key, Florida for the next week and I am at his house taking care of all the things. So if you knew anything about me, you would know that this would be the last thing that I would be doing because I am not outdoorsy. I do not know how to use any machinery. I have zero farm life, ranch life experience, but here I am. So if the title of this video reads, daughter breaks tractor, daughter crashes into building, then you know I didn't do a good job. If it doesn't say any of those things, then I guess I did okay. So I have to water all of their trees that they planted a few weeks ago. So I learned yesterday how to kind of drive the tractor and lift the forks up and let's go. <laughs> let's, let's see how it goes. All right, well so far I got myself in found the lights. Now I gotta open this back door. So step one, I got the tractor out. I didn't hit anything. I think I have the GoPro going. That was a whole other f thing, figuring out how to mount that. I think I, I don't know. I think I have it going. I don't usually do the GoPro either. Kevin does the GoPro. Sometimes I think I'm recording when I'm using it and I'm not. So I don't know, I guess we're gonna find out. And uh, now we just gotta wait for the uh, water to fill up. It's about 30 gallons. And then that's, uh, the fun part comes next, which is lifting the forks up. So obviously I can't shoot it down too far forwards and I can't go too ba far back. And uh, I did a pretty good job yesterday, although my dad was there to kind of like, if it went awry, now I'm just on my own. I digress, let's go.
I didn't take the hose down, I didn't vent it, and I didn't open it up. So I gotta take it back down and do it again. Let's try it again. Day one, it's gonna be a little rough. first side is done and now I have to go over and water the ones on the other side so I gotta tie this hose up make the loops a little bit bigger so it doesn't fall off so I think that was the gist of it mm -hmm. and I'm gonna leave that up there My dad said people uh, are gonna say that I shouldn't drive with it up there, but he drives with it up there. That's how I'm gonna do it. Like I said, you're gonna get the nanny police saying you shouldn't, shouldn't drive with it up in the air, but go back to nanny school. So far the hardest part has been just remembering which trees that I watered. So they all have definitely gotten watered twice. A handful may have been watered three times because I just can't remember. But so far I think I'm doing all right. So the trees are all watered. All in all it took me about an hour or so. And I tried to get out here early so it wasn't too hot out here. And I think I did a pretty good job. Honestly, I don't want to do too good of a job because I don't want to be my dad's retirement plan. I also don't want my husband to think that I can do anything around the house because I cannot. Kevin, I cannot. So this would be the point of the video where my dad would say, thanks for watching. And then he would continue to show you another clip even after saying goodbye. So let's do that. Thank you so much for watching. And I'm gonna go show you something else. This farm life is a hard life. So here's the Cabilco. I bet he locked it so I can't get in there. Yep. Looks like it could use a bath. Comment down below if you'd like to see me learn how to do the Cabilco next time I'm here. And then let's get a lake shot.
because that's what he would do. So since the Cabelco is all locked up, I won't be doing any sculpting for him during his vacation, but that's on him. He shouldn't have locked it up. We're gonna shut the doors. done. I think I did a really excellent job. So I'm gonna go eat breakfast now. Thank you so much for watching and you'll be seeing Scott in the future because this farm life is not for me. <laughs> Bye.